Sorry. Uh, send the announcement through Discord. Ooh, that, ooh. Ooh, I did not like that. Usually when I send an announcement, it's like, are you sure you're going to, if you use everyone, you're going to be pinging, you know, this many people. Didn't do that. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a big no-no. I don't like that. Uh, anyway, hello to whoever may be watching this in post, and welcome to another Resident Evil Revelations 2 raid mode stream. Before we start this, I would like to preface that uh, if anyone actually does have an interest with uh, be playing through the campaign and like trying to do like achievement hunting of sorts in the main campaign as well, um, feel free to let me know because as of right now, uh, I've gone through and I've done... I've gotten all the collectibles in the first chapter, and I've gotten all the medals for Claire's half of the first chapter. Um, so, if anyone actually would be interested in watching me blow through the campaign multiple times uh, with the intent of achievement hunting, uh, feel free to let me know. Hopefully, this stream uh, won't be as choppy as my last one, if anyone was actually around for that. Uh, throughout almost the entirety of the stream, uh, it, it was at like a 25% frame loss, and I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but I do want to apologize for that, but there wasn't really much that I could do about that, as, uh, my folks were in the back downloading something, and though I have strong internet, um... I guess it must have been a little bit too much for it to handle that night. So, anyway, we're going to be getting into it. Uh, my objective is I'm going to be trying to play Leon. I'm going to do the daily with Cypher. Uh, but, I'm going to be trying to play Leon to finish inheriting his Savor the Moment ability. Uh, so that way, uh, Lottie can get it. And then, moving on from there. Because if I do, the reason why I'm doing the daily is because I'll go up two levels, which means that I'll be 11 and I'll be able to get uh, the drill. Which is what I'm looking for. I'll go in with. Eh, I think that's. I think the Python should work just fine. The daily missions. I haven't played like at all today, so. At least not yet. I went through and, uh. Earlier I did the, um, whatever it was, the, uh, campaign stuff, so I didn't play any raid yet. Then I also woke up, like, three hours ago, so my sleeping schedule is just a slight bit of backwards. I'm sure it's fine. You're not dead? Get out of here. Wimp, what's wrong with you getting killed by a big old teddy bear? Ouch. I knew you weren't dead. best part is that even with having the first skill of melee master melee master increases your speed that's that's what's good about melee master but having just level one increases your melee damage by like half by an additional 50 percent so there's not really much of a reason to not have it on well i shouldn't word it like that but there, there's no um, it has a really big advantage, similar to like how uh, the uh, Soul Reaper part 
actually has a lot more to it than just uh, what I originally thought. Ow. Get out of your damn bug. Oh, I did not think that hit me. Uh-oh. I used my coat of armor already. And that is bad. <laughs> ah, shite. That's on me. Oh. I might need to... I need to... If I'm going to be going around flailing my katana all over the place, I need to put a little bit more perks into it. Does that mean I can't go back into the daily mission? No, it's not completed yet. Okay, so it's still it's still available to me. All right, it's been a while since I've actually done a daily mission, much much less one that I've actually died and failed in. Still, still quite a bit of stuff that I need to see about doing. There, I've got three active abilities, and I've got the two there, but I think it might be in my best interest. I'm gonna do it again. The only reason I died is because I was dumb. So I could, I'll just do it again. Easy peasy. Hello. See you later, boys. If I managed to hit him in the face, it's a win at KO. Whoops. So that's good. Get off me. Oh yeah, and I forgot, this is a daily mission. Haha, uh -huh, whoopsie, I can use herbs on this mission. I've just been so cultured as to not use them. What with uh, doing all the metal missions and that. curious what I should spec into when it comes to uh, the different abilities that I have. And in, in the sense of like, should I do, like, should I focus on one or should I distribute it evenly? Because theoretically, either would work. But I feel like using it evenly would be better because it leaves my um it leaves my choices open. Die, bro. Uh I actually managed to punch him in his faceplate. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, I need to kill the bug. Kill the bug. There we go. Chunk. Oh, those guys are just too freezy in general. Get those guys out of here. I can't hack them up. You dummy, I'm not over there. Chink. What do you take me for, a fool? Second time's a charm. Ain't got no problems. Although, having being able to bring a gun does make it a lot easier. Because you don't have to worry about being, like... 
or well I don't excuse me I don't have to worry about being like oh no it's the free the elemental I can't go hack and slash those guys dang straight all right uh I have 10 skill points but I think it might be beneficial for me to actually wait and hold on to those until I get some skills inherited because I need to get savor the moment from Leon I want to try and get the armor up from Chris and I think I'll see about getting the uh, shield from Pedro as well Although, it's going to be a while before I can actually use one of those few things. Leon, I think, has it to 17. 15. Increase, which he doubles the knife's attack power at full there. Okay. I might use Leon's shockwave too, if I'm going to be honest. Because it, it has saved me out of a few pinches. The last one that he did was three. So Leon would be here and too hard. Got it. Gotta remember to use my shotgun on as many people as I can. Get that experience bonus. It's not going to be until Leon's like level 30 something before he can actually inherit that ability. Just due to the fact that it's starting to get really expensive to uh, spec levels into it. But I'm going to assume that it might be something akin to that of Melee Master. Where once it's once the deed is done, uh, it's only going to be like 10-15 to inherit. I hope so, anyway. Oop. That was on me. I totally biffed that shot. Today, before the stream, to kind of get something going on here, uh, I recently saw Film Theory's video on uh, the Tiger King documentary series. Whoops. And uh, it's actually really interesting the uh, how the docu series has been going. I've only actually seen in full the first episode. Um, but from what I'm hearing, it's absolutely insane. <laughs> Looks nutty from what I understand. Yeah. Also, hello, Bone Man. Welcome to the stream. I've only I've only seen one episode and then the film theory Wow, okay. And shit. Alright, go right fleet. Suck a neg. I've got cause it's it's um We were watching the video, uh my folks and I. And we're sit we're sitting there like I forget what her name is, but she's portrayed as like the main antagonist. She's the the bitter rival of Joe Exotic, and it's just like, uh, yeah, she is massively. I don't know if hypocritical is the right word, but uh, we as like a group of three don't like her. <laughs> Because when it comes to, like, people who are evil, ooh, 
She has a good, she has like the musk about her. And it's really interesting because my mom did a bit of research uh, after we saw that first episode. And it's like, she's coming to black now because of the uh, Netflix documentary. Uh, because there's people theorize that she straight up murdered her husband. Ooh, I thought I had a different handgun. Magnum. I gotta remember what I'm using. Never had Netflix before, but I've seen it. We've had subscriptions to Netflix, Hulu. Uh, I think my folks have a subscription to like Funimation as well. I don't think we have Hulu anymore, but we used to. Like, back when Netflix and Hulu were, like, very big and at their prime, we had both of them. Uh, but I think we only have everyone, anyways, as Netflix. At least in uh, my little household. I'm very glad, because... Ugh. I had to wait, like, Four months for Beat Stars to get released. Shit's awesome. I'm thinking about watching more, maybe in like sort of like a background element, but that's one of the things is where when it comes to those documentary things, I have to actually sit down and watch it. I can't have it playing in the background because <laughs> I hear something that's like, Wait, no. And then, and lo and behold, I'm, st I'm stopping. Oh, I thought it stunned. I'm stopping what I'm doing to watch the, the documentary. Furry anime shows? Uh, as far as I'm aware, actually just Beastars. I don't browse Netflix very often. Most of my uh, media and stuff that I watch actually is like YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube. Uh, oh no, 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 two. Because a lot of people, a lot of people uh, say uh, a Gretsuko is the furry office. So... I, at least two. <laughs> I'm still yet to watch season two of Regretsuko too. Well, as well. It's come out, but I haven't seen it. I've seen season one and the uh, the Christmas special, but I haven't seen the actual. I haven't seen season two yet. That's cool stuff. Traders like trash. That's why. I, that's why I like watch their vids. Because that's what that's the only way that I can support them right now is just by watching their videos. I don't make money As I've been watching a lot of like uh, grumps game theory If if I may expunge a bit on game theory, I've been watching game theory since like his creation in 2013. I Love his theories. I Don't like Austin he doesn't have a format that I actually enjoy watching. It's nothing against him as a person. I just don't like his format of videos. Uh, and I don't like the self-irony phase that he's going through right now. The whole, like, self-cynicism stuff. I guess because, like, he gets a lot of flack for doing that, but... It's not what I subscribe for. You're not dead? My god. Although his Tiger King video, uh, I think he did an actual good job with, like, being relevant to the subject and also relevant to his channel of film theory. With, because he didn't directly say anything. But he also did put in, like, so, hey, here's the scientific proof, so if this happens to be around... 
Which, uh, fun fact, if there were Jaguars on, uh, What's-Her-Face's premises in 1997, uh, she could have totally killed her husband. Joe Exotic in prison? Uh, I believe he is. Uh, I don't know if he's actually gotten bail yet, but honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if there was like a petition or something or like a GoFundMe page that was community funded to get him out because Joe Exotic is a wild character. Good evening. He's in jail for 22 years. Correct. He is launching a lawsuit to sue the DNR for putting him there and other people. And he wrote President Trump and asked for a presidential pardon because he said, hey, buddy, since you got, uh, they tried to impeach you over lies and falsehoods, obviously you understand my situation and feel bad for me and want to give me a presidential pardon. Really? Yep. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, yes, he is in prison. That's awesome. He's, he's wildly lashing out at so many different people. I mean, it, it's kind of like a reckless abandon, but... Oi. It's really interesting, too, because... While browsing YouTube, I keep getting these ads that are like, President Trump is a bad president because he said that we have the coronavirus under control. And it's like a five second ad and it's like, and? I, I mean, we probably do have it under control. It's the people that are going outside against, you know, regulation and being like, fuck you, I don't care, that are causing issues. There's only so much that, like, a man in a high tower can do. Oops. Scams for the YouTube's apps ads. Oh, really? You gotta love those mobile ads that don't even try to hide the fact that they're just scams there to weasel money out of you. Yeah, I'm a gamer. I play Candy Crush Saga. What about it? I don't want free Robux because it doesn't exist. It's true. I don't want free I don't want free V Buck. Because it doesn't exist. It just doesn't. The only free V-Buck that I will actually, like, accept as... That's not okay. As, like, free V-Buck is if, like, someone, like, the Game Grumps said that, like, Hey, we have a card for, like, 2,000 uh, V-Buck. And we're going to be giving it out to, uh, some lucky fellow. It wouldn't be the Game Grumps because they don't play Fortnite, but they're the only real reputable uh, YouTube artist that I actually watch right now. Other than Mark. I watch Mark Flyers. I watch his uh, Three Scary Game stuff and uh, some of his videos that interest me, but mostly his Three Scary Games. Hello, Pamira. Yeah, there's a thing on the desk. How interesting. I'm just gonna sit there. Who 
Happy Wheels highlights are great, right? It's a shame that none of the old Happy Wheels guys are still playing Happy Wheels, or even Guts and Glory. Guts and Glory came for, and it was like strong for like a month, and then died out. It's kind of upsetting, honestly, because that was like the next Happy Wheels. And uh, now we don't have it. Everyone's too caught up and interested in Valorant. And it turns out that the uh, anti-cheat software they have is um, possibly compu putting computers at risk. I have a lot of really personal things on my computer. Like... I know that the, most of my porn is on my phone, but when it comes to gaming, that's also of the suggested nature. I have a lot of those too, and if someone actually learned about the fact that I had those, God forbid, I would be torn. Then I have no interest in playing Valorant anyways. It, it's from what I hear and from what I've seen I saw a video of uh, penguins or moist critical uh, of him playing uh, Valorant it's literally just CSGO 2 this is what it is the ops are overpowered silenced pistols can get headshots except I think Valorant makes shotguns acceptable to use Because, in my experience with playing CSGO, I only played like five games, so excuse me. Five full games, anyways. Uh, like, shotguns, un unless you stick the barrel of the shotgun up the guy's ass, you're not gonna get a kill. And even then, because of the fact that you stuck it up his rear, probably means that you won't get the kill either. Because you gotta dull him right between the eyes. For being a shotgun, their shotguns are blatantly ineffective. Not when you can get an AK that just, like, one-shots things. Real CS is better when they're older than Valorant. I don't know, people seem really interested in Valorant. 80k viewers at one point on Twitch. It got, it got news journalists to say that uh, Fortnite should be worried about Valorant's success. Because that's important. Should Fortnite, the world's biggest phenomenon since 2019, be worried that Valorant exists? No. As long as Fortnite... I'll say it like this. I'll be okay with Fortnite. Counter-Strike 2D is also good, even though it's not by Valve. There's a 2D? Really? Huh. No one will beat Fortnite, and no one will beat Minecraft. Easy as that. The world would turn- the world would be set ablaze if either of those games had a 2 stuck to their name. Either one. Especially Fortnite, because it wouldn't just be people who play Fortnite up in rage. It would be all the people who actively despise and hate against Fortnite that would also be, like, carrying their pitchforks to Epic Headquarters and rioting. I remember back at... Even the Halo killers couldn't kill Halo? Exactly, yes! Oh my god, there were so many, like, supposed Halo killers, weren't there? Is this the game that's gonna kill Halo? No, because Halo's better than anything. Granted, it's been on a downward spiral uh, since 4. I'm not saying 343 is bad. 
but I am saying that they took it in what I feel is a bad direction. ODST was the last good Halo game that I've been able to play. People complain about ODST being too open. That's the main complaint that I hear about ODST, is that it, ugh, it's too open, I don't know where to go. Which, I get. But, I also say, nah, I think you're dumb. Stay Fuck. It's been a while since I've actually played the campaign of ODST, but I remember loving every second of the campaign of ODST because it takes such a different approach to what has been already previously established in the Halo universe. Be because, like, everything Halo up to ODST was always, like, it's well lit, uh, you clearly see where the enemy is. ODST soundtrack is also... Dude, I love every Halo soundtrack. Halo just has good soundtracks in general. There's there's actually a YouTube video that I uh, found um, that was like a combination of all the themes to the different Halos, which I find is like awesome. It's like an eight minute long music video and it does the combinations of like all the different themes. Ooh, that's a good one. I played 5. I didn't get very far because it was on my friend's Xbox and it was my friend's... I don't think it even was my friend's. I think it was my friend's uncles who I happened to be at their house at the time. And they had Halo 5 so I was like, alright, I've been shitting on this game for a while. I'll actually play it. I got through like, I think the first two chapters and by the end of it, I still don't remember anything that happened. I, I don't remember anything. <laughs> other, other than uh, the actor who plays Castle is uh, one of the characters. He's on the team with um, other really famous people. Famous black man. Uh, who I think also played Luke Cage in the uh, Marvel Netflix show. God forbid I know their names. I really did not need that. Excuse me, sir. I don't remember anything about Halo, uh, 5. I don't remember quite anything about any Halo, actually. <laughs> Although, 3 and 4 get extra credence, in my opinion, because I haven't played them in a while. And then even 3, like, I actually do remember quite a bit about 3, because in, in 3, oh, that's a spoiler, but a very important person dies right in the beginning, like, straight up, you can see, you watch him die and it's actually upsetting. First moments of when Chief and Arbiter meet, uh, then you go through that section of the game and you're guided by, like, a pink light or stuff. It's in the same chapter where important character that I won't say gets killed. Is it safe to say that who gets killed? Does anyone actually care about Halo spoilers? The Halo 3, a game that's 10 years old? Because, I mean, people give a shit about, uh, like, Earthbound spoilers, and that game's, like, 25 years old, so... Spoilers, like... 
there's there's a very big line. Some games cross it and other games don't. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna worry about it. Fine with spoilers, doesn't bother you. All right then, I'll 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 try and like rehearse as much Halo 3 as I can, because that was the last game that I. Ah, uh, I want to, but I I also can't really, <laughs> because my memory is terrible. I haven't played Halo 3 or ODST in almost eight years. It has been a really long time since I have played both of those games. I can tell you everything about like Turok uh, Rage Wars or Turok, just in general. I, I know that I, I talked about it prior, but I had, I bought Turok, the original Turok the Dinosaur Hunter on Steam because it was available and uh, it was really funny to me because like it gets to a point where like I remember everything and then after I think chapter 4 Chief Collection is on Steam I know and it sucks because I can't get it because I'm a, a poor sad little boy who has a tin hat asking for quarters at the sidewalk because I can't get my own money but with the current corona crazies going on right now. Ooh, I should not have said that. Gotta remember, that thing gets demonetized. And if I want this mod to make any kind of money on YouTube, I can't be saying that. But uh, what, what with the virus crazies going on right now, and uh, my general inability to actually get, get a job, <laughs> In general, uh, I don't exactly have my own income right now, and it sucks, because I can't get all the things that I want to. Ouch. Oh, whoops. Aww. That's unfortunate. I forgot to count my blessings. I gotta stand here at the tip of the escalator. There we go. Oh dear. I just realized I loaded into this chapter with a pale rider. This is not gonna go well for me. in a while but yeah I still do there's very few games that I'll actually be like I'm never playing this again fuck it's spot shit god fuck my life I didn't hit it of course I didn't hit it why would I hit it why would I hit it with such a a faint task. Stay back. Fuck. I'm on hard. These things have instant kill moves. Roblox games look boring. I'm just not on Roblox often. 
Also, yes. Roblox has a lot of, like, very similar looking games. Stay the fuck back. Because, like, there's the tycoon games, there's the, the stuff that are, the, like, you play a tycoon and it's like, yay, I got far. And then you get to do it again, except this time it has Deadpool in it. And then you get to do it again, except this time it's on a boat. And you get to do it again, this time you do it in a pet store. That doesn't exist, by the way, not that I'm aware of, a pet store uh, tycoon. Kind of making things. I found out that there's actually a piggy clone on Roblox. <laughs> I've been meaning to actually, I'm tempted to do like a stream of it because it's. I want to say that it's made with like passion in it, but it looks and feels and plays at like half quality to that of piggy, and it's kind of. It's kind of funny how terrible it is. And shift is crouch! Why do people use shift as crouch? Shift has always been the sprint key. Why is shift crouch? God! I froth at the mouth at that one. Why is shift crouch? Give me an option. Because with Piggy, you can press control and crouch, but you can also press shift and crouch. So technically it's open with its availability, which has also messed me up a few times because I accidentally press shift because I'm like, I'm gonna sprint out of here. And then I die. Although I haven't done that uh, recently. Why is shift crouch? What started that? Was it Minecraft? Minecraft has that. Such a ridiculous thing. Shift is walk and stalker. And to sprint you hold X. Why? Ugh. <sighs> I'm not a PC player. When it comes to keyboard controls, I, I'm pretty terrible. But there's a few things that I kind of expect when it comes to oh, playing a game. Uh, I'll use a, uh, console controls for an example. Stalker. The Roblox Stalker is pretty fun. I actually did enjoy playing that when I did. Uh, but, but when it comes to controls, there's a few things that like I've come to expect from games. Even though people call it like the Call of Duty run, I'm pretty certain that like every game uses the to click the left stick to run at this point. Oh. Right? It's kind of it's become sort of a second nature. I'm not saying it's a bad thing for games to mix up the controls, but they have to do it in a way that makes sense in a semi-logical fashion. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Because with Resident Evil, uh, with every Resident Evil, save for 6, because 6 was just Call of Duty under a different name, and it was bad. Uh... You, for, you, you hold forward, and you hold A. That's how you sprint. A is your, like, action button. It's how you do a quick turn. It's how you, uh, it's how you sprint. It's how you open things. A is, like, your little action button. And it's... I don't know if it's any other game, but I do know that it's a Resident Evil, like, staple. A is how you go fast and do things. Do tricks and things.
I don't get what started this shit, this crouch. Call a balloon. I don't understand why people get I don't I don't get how people can use it. But it must just be something that like as a controller boy, uh, I don't I I won't understand. I played Paladins. I've made enough posts to the Paladin subreddit. I know that I know that keyboard players are uh, highly defensive of playing with keyboard. For us possibly getting a remaster. I heard about that. I also heard that supposedly Resident Evil 8 is getting made, which I find hard to believe that both of those are projects that are currently in the works. It it seems Highly illogical to have two Resident Evil games being made at the same time. Unless Resident Evil 8 is going to take place in some sort of closer cohesion with 4, then we. then whatever. That's the only reason why I would think that both 8 and a 4 remaster is being made at the same time, is if 8 somehow closely connects to 4. I mean, which is possible. Alright, yeah, I was a little too close to that. If they're actually remastering for... I just hope they do a good job, because when I played 4, I had a blast. I loved I loved playing Resident Evil 4, and this is coming from the guy who played 5 first, which 5 was basically like 4, but with better controls. I thought 4 was great. I thought 6 was a bit rougher on the edges. That's putting it in very, uh, light terms, but, uh, no, 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 stun, stun, there we go. Star Fox mod? Really? Oh, it, it was on the GameCube, wasn't it? I guess it would make sense that it would have some sort of, uh... I assume that by mod you mean, like, an actual, like, unofficial mod? Or was that, like, an official crossover that happened? Because either way, I am interested. Because RE4 did come out on the GameCube, so it would make sense that something Nintendo would make it into RE4. Just a model swap mod. Uh. All right, fair enough. Resident Evil 5 technically has those too. Uh, I expunged upon it. Um, I believe last stream about my displeasure with trying to find model swap mods for RE5 because I found out uh, that you can get like model swapping and it's relatively easy to do actually. Because I wanted to find, uh, for mercenaries specifically, I wanted to find a mod that made, that put Wesker Midnight, the Midnight Wesker, uh, in his trench coat. I just wanted the trench coat. But there's no model mod, at least not that I could find. Every mod that I found that did what I wanted, which was put Wesker in a trench coat, was a boss mod or whatever the hell, which made him play, like, his boss form. I didn't want that! I just wanted him in a coat! That's all I wanted! <laughs> it's like going on to like the Left 4 Dead 2 pages and being like, I want this anime soundtrack to play for my tank, and finding out it's not there and being like, what the hell? 
There's models for these characters from the anime that I like. Why isn't there a soundtrack for the tank? That's a bit of cynicism, by the way. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, uh, the Left 4 Dead 2 workshop is 75% anime and 90% sound mods. So... Ah, shit! So hard to find anything decent on the, on the uh, Left 4 Dead workshop. At least for me. Although there are there are some really good mods that I have. Joel does a good Wesker impression. Dude, honestly. I think he does. I haven't heard anything of it. But I know that during the outro of his uh, YouTube videos, I think it's uh, his impersonation that goes on. Or his impression, rather. I don't think it's an impersonation until, unless you're actually doing a full outplay. Why does it do that aim to the left thing? Highlights channel? I believe so? I can't say that I've really... I've checked the channel names. But I do believe it is on the Highlights channel. Or it would have been on the Highlights channel. Joel's one of the kind of people that, honestly, if I actually do get bigger into streaming, that I would love to be able to do like a crossover with or something, do a co-stream. I'd love to be able to do that. But I mean, yeah, that's it's kind of like, who's my favorite actor sort of deal, where a, it's a very special occurrence. And... I'm practically like country bumpkin over here, which means that my chances of actually meeting the guy are very slim because I'm never, unless like he contacts me or something, we'll never meet because I will ne I probably won't ever have the money to go to VidCon or, or any sort of con that he might be at. And uh, I don't use Twitter or Instagram or anything like that because social things scare me. Do some conversions too. Jamie, give me the cookie, Jamie. I'm losing power. <laughs> it's true. Oh, hello. Joel and Joel and Vinny. I I haven't seen much of their streams, but their highlights I do very thoroughly enjoy. really interesting too because if you actually stop to think about it it's very difficult to get into um it's very difficult to get into any sort of like uh what's the word i guess i'll just use famous for now because i can't actually think of the word that i'm looking for influencer there we go it's very difficult to become an actual influencer right now because, well, all the influencers out right now are still young and they found their place very early. They absolutely had the advantage of uh, first come first serve. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, but I am saying that, uh... I'm not exactly taking all the steps to actually uh, ensure my grand victory of being a streamer right now. 
just taking little baby steps, you know? Because, uh... Twitter does actually scare me. All that social interaction. People get to tag you in anything. Mock you publicly. Ugh. I'm not quite a people person. In, in the sense that, uh, stereotypically, I don't like people. <laughs> it's it's nothing against the person. It's it's just that I've been uh, hurt so many times before that I I don't like I don't like the idea of going to public places, and it worries me talking to people and trying to like make. Uh, to bring up topics of conversation because my range of things to actually talk about is very narrow when it comes to, to things because I don't care about sports at all which is like the worldwide phenomena and the fact that I don't like sports distances me from like what 60% of the world and I live in a small town, and I don't hunt, which means that the other 30% that I might have been able to talk to, uh, I don't, I won't have anything to talk about because I have, I can't talk about, but look at all this big game that I managed to catch or whatever. Not saying that I wouldn't go hunting, I'd be interested to, but I can't. Ugh. I need to talk about something else. If I keep talking about my insecurities uh, with people talk, Eventually, it's going to get to a point where I'm going to break down and I'm going to start babbling things of incoherent sentences. But... All... The fuck... Okay. Three more levels. At 29, I'll be able to know what I need to inherit it. But it's, um... When I was raised, when I grew up, has crap a tumbler's curtain by Satan itself. <laughs> yeah. And uh, DeviantArt has all the inflation porn. I haven't drawn, like, anything recently. Which is mildly upsetting to me because I actually do want to see about drawing more, but I don't... It, color me spoiled, but it, the school desks that you get at school are very good for drawing on. And uh, because I took the uh, CTE class, an extracurricular class in digital media, I, I was able to use a, a Wacom tablet and uh, Photoshop two things that I don't have right now, so I don't I don't have a proper drawing desk right now, and uh, I don't really want to do anything digitally because I have been spoiled. Ow. Which stinks, too. Because I actually do have a, uh, I wanted to do a fan art of, uh, Beast with Beastars, with, uh, Lugosi and Haru, 
and like Resident Evil. But I don't know. I don't know Jap Japan culture, but I'm, I'm pretending like the subtext is that they're at like a Halloween gig or something, so they're all dressed up for the occasion. Because anyone who has seen B Stars, uh, hopefully, will agree with me when I say that Lugosi would look absolutely fantastic in the classic RE2, like the like the PS2 RE2 uh, tyrant outfit. He would look great in that. That's what I wanted to do, but I haven't done it in a while because, like, I started it, but I haven't taken it past, uh, the sketch stage because I don't have the drawing tablet and, and the whole spoiling things come comes back to mind. Been lurking the whole time? Have you? Come on, man. <laughs> have a good one. Thanks for showing up, Wes. I will have a good one. Oh. You devil, you. Alright. Thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, you go do you. Are you still doing RE2? I might catch that after my stream's done, assuming that you're still going. Uh. Get out. I got tracked off guard. Or I got tracked off guard. Um but I do wanna I do wanna say that uh in my childhood, because of the fact I don't have good people relations because when I was younger, uh I was bullied throughout my entire school years up until like eighth grade and um, until I was about 10 or 12 we would go to my grandmother's church which had some of the loveliest elderly ladies there um, but also was very like Southern Baptist where you either fit in and like Nazi regime where like everyone is the same and everyone is perfect and everyone functions this way or you're wrong and we shame you. I don't know if it's actually Southern Baptist. Uh, feel free to correct me. I'm gonna get flack for that one. Uh, but not exactly the best childhood. I don't have a lot of childhood stories, unlike, say, like, the Grumps, because I don't like remembering my childhood. <laughs> it's not a fun time of my life. I have the present, and I have a future. And I look forward to having a good future. Now that that's out of the way, let's actually divulge into a different topic. Uh... Oh. You know what? I caught a quick glimpse of a video. I only saw like three minutes into it because it's like... Two minutes in, he started talking about like a sponsorship and uh, took way too long. I missed. Because he started talking about a sponsorship and I was like, I don't have time for this. Because at the at the time I didn't. I only had like 10 minutes before my stream started. Ow. But it was uh, Resident Evil 3 is sexist. <laughs> like against women because the protagonist is a woman and it's a uh and, it, and it's 
Nemesis. Our Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. And it's just another... It's not even grasping at straws at this point. An alien race could come by and be like, I wonder what kind of uh, intelligent species lived on this planet. And then they see like our, uh, like the videos that we post sometimes. And then they realize like, wow, no wonder they're dead. These guys were fucking stupid. Evil 3 is sexist. Game doesn't have. One of the comments of that video was Game doesn't have female protagonist. It's sexist. Game does have female protagonist. Is sexist. And it's just like, wow. And it's, it's made even better because simping is a thing now. It has a word. You can now genuinely be. You can be called a simp. And, and because it's a very real and a very legitimate phenomena that's going on, simping. People are using it wrong, but it, like it's simp simping is literally just like the practice of legit being too nice to a girl. Like it's not even. It's not to the sense of like. A new siphon filter comes out. Siphon filter? You'll have to indulge me in names unfamiliar. Ah, f that. this isn't looking good. Oops. Only played Logan's Shadow though. Is Siphon Filter a game? I remember playing Bulletstorm. One of the big one of the big points about Bulletstorm was the fact that uh, the main protagonist was voiced by the same guy as uh, the MCU Wolverine. Game release for PS1, got on PS2 and PvP. I wouldn't have known it then. Most of the games that if I were to know them on PlayStation uh, come from the PlayStation 2. for it's for Wesker that's right I'll see about getting that done yeah 10 Sorry, I had to take an extended drink. I could feel my uh, throat chapping. Or, uh, chafing, I think is actually the uh, proper word.
Ever played Payday 2? I did, actually. At the time, I did not enjoy it. I don't think I would enjoy it. I, like, I'm totally down for being able to play, like, a stealth game in that. One of, one of my favorite games is Dishonored. I, Dishonored was a great game. But Payday has... A little too much for me to handle, I'll say. I don't quite remember if it was one of those community things, but I believe it was because Payday is so strictly a four player game that like if you don't have, you know, at least two other friends to play with, you probably weren't going to progress anywhere in the game. And the community to Payday is... wasn't good for me. It's a similar sense to that of like, uh... How I feel about Left 4 Dead 2's community, uh, Fortnite, at least, uh, nah, I think Fortnite in general. The Fortnite community is just downright terrible people. On a stereotypical scale, anyways. Because I, I would section it off to just being, like, the Battle Royale, but no, Save the World... The Save the World community can be just as, if not even worse. Shockwave. That's not a shotgun. I'm gonna die. How the fuck did it hit me? My god, I'm so genuinely gonna die. And on this level, no less. There's people posting porn. Eh, yeah, that's, uh, average. In the comments. Yeah, that's about right. It's also really funny because uh, the suggestive half of uh, the Fortnite community, if you actually go look, there's only like 10 skins that ever get uh, that kind of art for them. It's really funny if you think about it. At least in my opinion. Because it also... I shouldn't connect porn to how the game plays, but... In my experience with playing Fortnite, especially Fortnite BR, Fortnite has... close to a thousand different skins, right? There's so much customization and availability it's crazy. Look at all this stuff and all these skins, these crack, these wacky and crazy characters that you can be. And out of those thousands and thousands of skins, or hundreds of hundreds of skins, you only ever see 20. Ever. At least when I play. Because I've gotten to the point where I'm like, moderately okay at playing the game. So I no longer get the, uh, the, the fun players, I guess. Although I would have to have someone else in the, in the lot, in chat who plays Fortnite to actually like discuss this off of, but there's only ever like 20 skins that you see in game ever. Uh, what's the point? If, if I'm gonna get sweat on by some lackey, honestly, I would 
I would be okay with it if it was a tomato head. Not another goddamn dark bright bomber. If I got killed by a tomato head, like, shit, it's a tomato head. That's kind of cool. And it's, it's one of those things where I'm not a part of the sweat culture and I don't have, I'm about to have a friend that's deeply interested in the sweat culture. But I don't get it. It's a different race and breed of people that play Fortnite, the sweats. It's kind of incredible. And it's it's bizarre too because like they're they're proud of the fact that they're sweaty and people ask like are you sweaty and they're like hell yeah I wouldn't play this game any other way and it's like what I know that being good at a game is something to like pat yourself on the back for but I don't know it just seems There's a word for it, but I, I don't know quite what it is. Because it's not exactly antagonistic. It's 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 not ignorance either. Because it's not like inherently hostile. The fact that they're being like, I'm so good at this game. But it's also not exactly like they know what effect that they bring to the other players who play the game as well. <sighs> There's one emote in Fortnite that is just disgusting. When it first came out back in like season six, it was like, you know, haha, funny laugh. Okay, I get it. Ow. It's like Haha, uh, it's, a, it's a donkey that laughs. I get it. Because it's like a jackass laugh. That's fun. But, because of the fact that the sweats have taken hold of that, and have just ingrained it in their own culture so much, I, I can't see that emo for anything more than, like, a trump card. Like the, I'm better than you emo, and I, I spit at you. And, and again, like, feel free to tell me how wrong I am, because though I, I may not be actually making any sense to what I'm saying, go through these windows okay this is bad not dead but... oh I popped his eye ah I popped the right eye that's good okay I don't mean to talk about Fortnite while playing Resident Evil, because the games have, like, nothing in common. But, uh... I could get much more vehement about what I feel about Fortnite than I can about Resident Evil. Not saying that I can't, it's just easier for me to do so, because... Fortnite's one game, whereas Resident Evil is... 15 almost counting the side games there's a lot
was the next thing I was gonna- Oh yeah, the electric bottle, that's right. Because I said, like, why not? Let's get back to Leon. Looks like I'll need to get through another chapter with Leon before I can get the, uh, save of the moment. So let's see about... Let's bring him into... He did one very hard, which I think the next one is three hard, right? Yeah. Once I tear through this gauntlet, I should be able to inherit the uh, Savor the Moment ability. Give that to Lottie. Stellaris Console Edition. That's up to you, man. I haven't played Stellaris. Although, I do hear that it is, uh, very grabbing. Captivating, if you will. Because I've got a friend who's, uh, very strong into Stellaris right now. So I've heard. He doesn't talk to me, but he talks to one of my other friends. Uh, to which... He has made several comments. They have made several comments about, um... Like, how much he talks about Stellaris. Really stinks too. There's a lot of games that are on sale because of the COVID crazies. I can't, I can't get any of them. I get, I, I get like a weekly email that's like seven games on my wish list are on sale, and it's like, wow, dude, I would love to be able to get some. Genocidal foxes and geckos are non-playable factions hell-bent on annihilating all races. Foxes and geckos. Huh. Kind of like the, uh... Ooh, I forget what it is. Man, you're gonna make me want to start playing Starbound again. Which I would be absolutely okay with, actually, because... The Karakanox mod is, like, one of the crowning achievements that I have done. And, uh, I have to, I have to be playing Starbound at the time in order to work on it. very proud of the Karakanox. Soul system is in the game and you can infiltrate the human government. Start on this bum. Yeah, sounds like Stellaris is very in-depth. Which is pretty good. I, I mean, it's good for a game to be in-depth. Have a lot of things to do. Alright, I believe this is the last one before the final, uh... I believe it's six, because it's three hunters and exploders. I haven't played Starbound in a while, just due to, uh, mainly due to burnout. It's the same reason why I've kind of stopped playing Fallout 4 right now, because I'm suffering the withdrawal of burnout. I can't, I can't stick to one game for very long. And it's, it's usually nothing against that game, it's just that...
I, I don't know. Maybe it's just like I get too hard into a game and like I easily tire myself out. It's one reason why like when I was playing Starbound on stream, uh, after like six streams in, I was like, all right, if I don't find another game to play, I'm going to suffer from burnout and I won't be playing Starbound anymore. And you know what happened? I couldn't find another game, and I'm suffering from burnout. It, which is kind of it. Kinda, it sucks, especially with like Minecraft. I have never beaten Minecraft because I've been playing it for such a long time. I've played it since before the Ender Dragon was a thing. I haven't gone through and beaten the Ender Dragon legitimately because of both burnout and also just the fact that I've already played it so much. There's crazy and amazing things that you can do in, in Minecraft, but when it comes to Minecraft and most other uh, survival based games, when I'm only playing it for myself, I can only get so far. You get me and a group of friends to play Minecraft, I can play, like, for a week on end. But if it's just me alone in my house, uh, playing, and you expect me to play Minecraft for a week, I might get, like, two days in, and then after that, I'm, I'm done. I'll get to the point where like I can make it to the nether and I'm like yay I made it to the nether and then I never pick it up after that even pokes fun at EA for their supplies surprise mechanics oh yes yep that is such a load of bull surprise mechanics I'm so glad that we've gotten to the point where game companies are actually getting... I saw an article that was like, game companies are going to be... There's soon going to be like a loot box warning on video games. And I think that's great! Because loot boxes are terrible! I don't like the loot box system. I don't. I'll use Paladins as my example, because Steelforged Terminus, one of the newer skins that, that's in Paladins, is fucking amazing. I, it is awesome! But I won't be able to get it without shelling $35. Whoops. That's on me. I won't be able to get it without shelling out, like, $37 or so. So that way I can get everything in the bundle. Paladins has it where like, if you get it once, you won't get it again. And I'm okay with that. But I don't have the money to pay for the, the entirety of the box. I'm not like my friend Lambo, where they fucking got, they got Steelforge Terminus on their first draw. I was in the call with them when they got it too. I, I, Pissed me right off, and I'm dead. Damn. That did, that did anger me righteously because Lambie has been able to. My friend Lambie has been able to get both the Fenrir Mordex skin from the Brawlhalla loot box because at the time I was playing a lot of Mordex and I really wanted that skin, so they went and got it. And, and would flaunt their wealth, essentially. It's pretty funny, too, because it's like, it's got, it's gotten so bad to the point where it's like, if I want something, someone else in my friend group will get it first. It's, it's become a recurring theme. When it comes to FN, people like to rag about the fact that th that its skins are 
some of its skins are egregiously expensive. And on one hand, yes, that's true. And on the other hand, since Chapter 2 came out, its skins, the new skins, like, I don't think any of the new skins have made it past purple rarity. Which means that none of them have been more than uh, 1,500 V-Bucks. The newer skins that are coming out are generally cheaper. Which I, I, I'm totally okay with that. But it's also in the sense of like... It, I think Fortnite's item store is better than a loot box. Because you know what you're getting. You put in your money to get exactly what you, to, to get what you want. There, there's no uncertainty to it. Although, granted, there comes times where, like, you want a skin and it doesn't come out for, like, two or three years. Whoops. I need to be more attentive to what's going on. And that, that is a drawback of the item shop thing. And also the developers not actually having true RNG to their uh, systems. To their item shop. Because if Fortnite's item shop actually did have, like, true RNG, there wouldn't be skins out for three years. Unless I'm wrong. I could be wrong. But... It really does seem like someone is behind the counter working the item shop, like, and makes, I don't know, like, a day every week, he's, he plans out the item shop for that week. Because there are some skins that come out way too much. And there are some skins that haven't come back since their release. I still, I still think that the FN item shop sort of ideal there is better than a loot box. It's, it's still kind of like scrummy, but at least you know what you're getting. I put in 10 bucks. I get this skin. This is what I want. And I don't have to worry about being like, well, I have, at this rate, I'm going to have to buy everything in order to get the one that I want. And even then, some loot boxes, such as like the Overwatch loot boxes, allow duplicates. Which means that maybe you won't be able to get it ever. Oops. I think I might be talking too much. I'm starting to lose my balance here. one of those things where I want to be a game developer. I want to be able to make games and stuff. And those are the worst offenders. Agreed. Yeah. That and mobile games. Most of the mobile games that like I hear my mom talking about like the mobile games that she plays and like she talks about like you have to shield daily otherwise you get attacked. You have to do this and that and it's like it's like three dollars a day to shield yourself and it's like why the fuck do you play the game? If it costs money daily to play the fucking game to a point where you don't get hurt in some fashion, why do you play the game? Why? It's like choosing to willingly accept the fact that you're gonna live in communist Russia. Why would you do that? living in constant fear of, of being damaged or hurt or or god forbid slain lord knows that it wouldn't be you that they kill it would be one of your family members that you that they kill first why would you choose to do that to yourself why would you choose to play a mobile game that you have to even if it was a dollar a day that's too much that's too much! You shouldn't have to do that! 
fuck? I need to turn my fan on. Let me get that set up real quick. <sighs> Maple Story 2 is shutting down. Really? I haven't heard much anything about Maple Story in a while. I suppose that goes to show how old it is, huh? You know, sp thinking of old things, uh, on the Steam page, uh, because I recently reset my computer because it had an update, uh, there was, on the, on the front page, there was a thing for Wizards 101, and it's like, wow, that game is probably older than I am. I'm surprised it's still around. And on the topic of old games, uh, it can't... There was an old MMO that I actually did used to play uh, when I was younger, which was uh, Cartoon Network Fusion Fall. Uh, I remember looking it up uh, a month ago, roughly, because I was like, well, what is that game? And uh, the servers went, apparently it didn't do very well, which sucks, because that means that its servers are dead and gone. It's kind of like the, uh, what is it, Disney 2 Town? Or is it just Doom Town? I don't know if it was actually affiliated with Disney. I think it was. Uh, oh, fuck. I just got a huge hit of a flashback. There was an old game that I used to play. I swear to Christ, it was a disc game. I don't remember anything about it but but it was it was like my version of toontown in a sense i think you were able to it was it was a learning game it was a mugsy Whoa. stop fuck off fuck your mother and die in a goddamn hole that works. There, there was an, an... Oh. I'm gonna try and describe the one scene that I remember most vividly. Because there was, there was a... There was the main town center, which had like five buildings in it. But then there was also the, uh... There was an old, like, backwoods path uh, that led to uh, some other character's, like, station or whatever. It was practically like a tunnel, but it was a canyon that led you into this back back alleyway. I'm not explaining this well. I have a clear visual in my head, but I can't explain it. That's normal. <laughs> that I can't explain something. <laughs> hey, you should stun. That works. I, I swear to God, it was it was a disc game. It was a learning game, and it had a very strong like Neopets or Webkins. No, it wasn't either of them. It was so it was. I want to say it was like an off-brand sort of deal, like like a store brand sort of deal. It wasn't official, and it wasn't anything like that. There there was a selection like when you started the game. We had the ability to have like three or four accounts or three or four people on it And when you started the game you had like nine animals animal character that you animal characters that you could choose from uh, To which as you played the game you unlocked more animals that you could play as Oops my accuracy is off and when you get in, you're greeted by a Mickey Mouse-like esque character. Not in the sense of like it's actually Mickey Mouse, but in the sense of like he he ser he would serve the same role as a Mickey Mouse, where like he's the the headmaster. And 
you, you started in, in like a big pavilion. It was a really big old pavilion that you started in. Could you fucking not, you monstrosity? It was a big old pavilion that you started in. Like, there were four pillars. It was big and white. It was in the center. There was like a, a road, a little road that went around it. It was kind of curvy and stuff. And around it, you had like the different... I'm gonna have to look this up. Have, I straight up, I'm gonna have to look this up. Am I really gonna stop everything and see about looking this up? I absolutely am, because I need to know this now. I need to at least take a dedicated five minutes to try and figure out what the fuck I'm talking about. Because I don't know what it is. How would I go about it? How would I look it up? It's 15! Fuck! How would I go about it? Pet Pet Park. Is that it? Alright, here, I'll, I'll, st I'll start with that. Okay, let's see. Pet Pet Park. No. It's 3D. I should say that it's 3D. It was a 3D game where you got to play as an animal character, and... Ugh. It's not Toontown. Look, uh, likes. Animal Jam? No. Animal Jam. Yeah, nah. It's not alive anymore. That much I can say for fact. There's absolutely no way that this game could be alive anymore. And I don't think it was even online in the first place. Because I, I swear to God, it was a, it was a PC game. You, you, you pulled out the little thing, you put it in the disc, and then you slot it in, and then bam, the game, the game played. I'm trying to think of something that was really memorable, but I can't other than that one path. It was really... Oh, there was a racetrack. One of my favorite things about that game was that there was like a racetrack, and there was a really... There was a math game, too, but they were two separate sections. You could go to this one building that... Jumpstart. Maybe that's it. Jumpstart... <gasps> Fuck! Hold on. Alright, hold on. 3D. What's the 3D one? I think I got it. I think that's it. Oh my god, it is! Shit! Holy fuck! Okay, hold on. Let me turn on the display capture. This is what I'm thinking of! Thank you! Oh my god! I don't remember which one it was, but this is it. Because, uh, oh, this was what it was. Because I, re I remember so vividly, I remember loving this game as a child. It was great. Because the, the two games that I used to play the most were, were the racing and the math games. Look at this, look at this wonderful class of characters. Oh, I forgot that they aged too, that's right. Oh my god. That's nuts. This is the I think this is the world too. They had the two games? 2D games? Oh wow. Can I, I Oh, I, I actually, I do actually remember, uh, really enjoying the, uh, panda and tiger character. I was, I was always a cat. I was almost always a cat playing the game. Oh my god. 
Because it is. It is a disc that you put in your PC. Okay. Alright, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I had to, I just had to get that out of the way. I, I, I apologize. Must be on an abandonware website. It's gotta be. I didn't, was it online? I didn't think it was online. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was, uh, the, the... I, I don't remember it being online. I really don't. I, but I do remember that you could have multiple accounts for, like, the different kids in your house. Ugh. Okay, hold on. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm gonna get up for a minute. I'm gonna take the last of my drink and refill it. Ugh. feed my cats real quick too uh, now that I think about it because oh, there's no ice ah, this is not okay anyway I'm gonna feed my cats because when I said that I woke up like three hours ago I did actually mean it so technically they only got their they got their quote unquote morning feed and they probably could use their uh uh what would be considered their afternoon by now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give that to them. Shouldn't take much more than another minute. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up? Okay. Honestly, if someone told me a way to actually go back and play, uh, uh, told me a way to go back and play those Jumpstart games, I would absolutely do it without a second thought live on stream. I, I absolutely would because I have so much childhood with those games. I love them. They were a lot of fun. Okay. <laughs> I haven't thought about that game in so very long. Ugh. Okay. Anyways, we'll get. Well, I'll get back into this here. Hopefully, by the end of this gauntlet, I should have. Ugh. I should be 31, so that way I can inherit the ability that, uh, the skill that I need to. Oops. It's actually interesting too, because, or not interesting, but it does remind me that uh, I would like to see about playing uh, Pac-Man World Rally again uh, for the stream. And I did get uh, Stubbs the Zombie Rebel Without a Pulse uh, for PC as well. I have both of those games. And though I did stream uh, Pac-Man prior, a uh, uh, World Rally before, fucking Christ, I hate you monstrosities.
And though I played Pac-Man World Rally on stream before, I would absolutely do it again. Because I love Pac-Man World Rally. It's such... It, it's... It's Mario Kart, but with Pac-Man instead. But they do a good job with signifying the, the differences between, you know, Pac-Man and, uh... Stay the fuck away from me. And the differences between Pac-Man and Mario. They do a good job with uh, making them different. Intrinsic intrinsically, they're the same. Stay the fuck back. Intrinsically, they're the same, but... Uh, they're different in nature. I've got, uh... I, I do need to see about doing Stubbs the Zombie. I need to play that game again sooner or later. Whether live on stream or, uh... On my own time, I'm not quite sure yet. Although I'm sure that if if anyone's actually interested in watching me play either of those games, World Rally or Stubbs, like let me know, cause I I will play them on stream. I already know both of those games uh, with the very intrinsically, I'll put. Pistol out when I tell you to, Leon. Just wedged in a corner here. Why? Fucking pig. Ah. Anyway. If there is an interest, I would be uh, happy to. Whoops. I I will absolutely play those games live on stream. But for right now, when it comes to playing uh, games for the stream, I have to be mindful about how relevant the game is because if the, if the game isn't relevant enough uh, I won't be able to get like new people to show up which is what I, I really need right now oh there's some new peeps there's nothing wrong with who I have and what I do have Although, in order to grow, you need to, you need to make, you need to get more people. Burn monster. Something, a channel that I've been following for a long time, uh, Game Theory, which I've already divulged on, and, uh, there's also SMG4, or Super Mario Glitchy4, um, who I haven't been able to watch much in their new stuff, because it doesn't, um, I'm, I'm really happy and proud with, like, uh, what they're doing now. I'm so glad that they're able to do more with it But I don't typically watch uh, their newer stuff 
because it doesn't hold uh, my interest as much as it once used to. Uh, although, uh, a couple days ago, I did watch their video about the uh, Wario Dies meme. Oh my god, it was great. <laughs> I love that video. <laughs> Still, one of my all-time favorites, it has to be Mario Simulator. When it comes to SMG4 videos, Mario Simulator is, without a, without doubt, one of, if not my favorite, uh, video from them. I say them, because technically it's just, uh... Technically it's just one dude? But it is him and his brother, so... Fuck you. Alright. I actually am... I, I am looking into seeing more of the, uh, the Wario Dies, uh, series of videos, because they, they are rather humorous, the ones that I have seen. Wario goes to Vietnam and dies in a helicopter crash, <laughs> I think was one of the ones that I did see. I don't know if uh, C is the right word because it's it's all like audio based, which I think is great because it it leaves so much for interpretation. Oops. I kind of saw that coming, but... Hello. Goodbye. two dudes. Woo! And they are out of here. Alright, we're almost done with the gauntlet, so... I think, because this is the fifth level, right? Should be able to do one more gauntlet with uh, Lottie before I'm done. Woo! I love you, bro, but you need to back up. That was close. Not really, but that, that was definitely an intimidating moment.
Nice. One more level on this gauntlet and I should be able to get Leon uh, to the point where he can inherit his ability. Nice. Oh yeah. That's real nice. Three, six. I uh, don't remember this one. Ah, now I do. This should be interesting. I hate this level. <laughs> From the deepest reaches of my heart, I hate this level. Too many revenants in close quarters. I think I was able to cap the uh, one run that was standing behind in the pad with the uh, pierce of the magnum. Got shotgun and handgun ammo. Good. I'll be needing both of those. I was able to slug uh, the four of them with two shells. There's the revenant back there. But I'm gonna take care of the small fry first. Weapon arm, I see. Down she goes. Alright, round of phase two of the level. We're at 22 out of 44, perfectly split. I made him spiral in circles because he's dumb. Doesn't understand that the guy who shot him was uh, still standing right there in front of him. Eh, eh. What a dummy. 15 more enemies. Miss a few shots for good measure. There we 
There we are. back. should be able to inherit the ability so that way Lottie can have it. Yes. Got Leon to 32. Which I think means that he's actually... I think because of the fact that I've been using that shotgun that all the characters that I've been playing thus far have been like two levels ahead of what they're otherwise supposed to be at. Which is a pretty cool thought. So now, inherit. Yes. The next ability for Leon to see about working on is going to be Shockwave. Because I actually find that to be very useful. There's been a number of times where I've had to be like, Oh no! And do that. So... That's going to be Leon's next uh, inherit. Similar to how Chris has his next inherit uh, as the armor. Let's go ahead and pull Lottie out here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to we're gonna change the skills. I'm going to put the stealth cloak here because I do actually use it a lot there. And then we'll have shockwave. Or, uh, yeah, we'll have shockwave in that part. Let's go ahead and equip savor the moment there we are and let's see if I am ready to blow through another gauntlet with Lottie I believe it would be one hard for me to do now yes let this begin Nerd. We 
you take me for a fool? I know your tricks. Just because you're elementally inclined doesn't mean that I can't use my distance to my advantage. Fair. No. Chunk. Titan is so fun to use. That guy's dead. Chunk. Get out of here, boy. You ain't got nothing on the big old teddy. That's unfortunate. I can't risk any more encounters like that. Uh, with the elemental dudes anyways, I that that really blows that I didn't use the uh I didn't shank him right there on the ground. Big, are ya? How foolish of you. You shall die. to change that back because I did I did explicitly change it with the sense with the mindset of like I'm gonna accidentally use the wrong ability and guess what changed it back and uh, use the wrong ability I used Drill Charge instead of Stealth Cloak like I wanted to. I think... I think I'm gonna... Let me see about switching the, uh... Drill Charge to X. Because as much as I like using it, it's much more of a uh, specialty as of right now than a, uh, critical. Such as the uh, Stealth Cloak and that is. I think I'll keep Stealth Cloak as being B. And then I will have... Uh... I don't know. I guess I'll just have to... Because... Hmm... I feel like Shockwave would do best there. So I guess I'll just re-switch these here. Uh, 
boy. That should work, right? All right. Let's get back into it. mean nothing to the unstoppable Lottie. Fools, all of you. Save of the moment actually does help increase your movement speed with the knife, but with the katana being more of a uh, animation lock-in than just kind of a I'm gonna swing my knife around sort of deal. But the damage increase will absolutely help because at the highest level, Save of the moment doubles the uh, attack damage, and I think at level 10. The uh, katana does a thousand damage default, whereas the the knife does like a hundred damage. The the katana starts off doing double the damage of your uh, common knife, and then at level ten the katana does upwards of a thousand, I think. So it's pretty nice. <laughs> doing grabbing me like that don't you know better I'm, I know that I'm supposed to be a big old cuddly teddy bear but this teddy bear is an assassin I'm classified as an assassin I I don't do cuddles anymore the only time that cuddles are allowed is if I cuddle you and that's just fact Three more dudes to show up. There's one. That's two, and I think the third one spawned. Yeah, right there. Punch his block off. That's six more enemies for the genocide. Fire dude over there. I have to need to brain him there. Where are all the other guys? There's one. Get out of here. There's another. Get out. Where is... There we are. Last guy's behind me, I think, right? I'm gonna drill him. There he is. Drill! <laughs> the teddy bear wins again. I was supposed to be delivered a fight, but all I got was cannon fodder. <laughs> I'm 
not going to be leveling up as fast as uh, my other characters are, just due to the fact that I'm on... Firstly, I'm on the lower levels, and secondly, I don't have my shotgun with me, where I have my uh, highest level of uh, Soul Reaper on. I have my Magnum, which is good for killing things that I don't want to fight uh, very easily and quickly and effectively. And with one bullet. I should see about love I believe I said this already, but I'm gonna see about leveling up my active skills uh, equally. So like one one spec into uh, coat of armor, one spec into uh, cloak, because both of them will be helpful. And the ability to have both of them uh, will, will help a lot, actually. Especially if I can serve them on a rotation of sorts. Because I can use my, like, ar armor in the sense of, like, this is damage that I'm not going to be able to avoid. There's no way. And then I can use my cloak and, like, hey, there's a lot of enemies around here. Let me see about just uh, ganking them. I didn't think it happened like that, but, uh, ah, well. But yeah, it is instances like that, that, uh, being able to have those cooldowns, both of those cooldowns reduced, uh, would be very helpful. Because both of them last 90 seconds, that's their wind down, or the cooldown, before you can use them again. Which, the sooner that I can get both of those reduced, the better. Because at their maximum levels, uh, the cooldown is actually just 45 seconds, which means that if you can use them accordingly, um, that would be roughly like I don't know. I can't math right now. See, the first level of this reduces the cooldown by five seconds. I believe the next level, oh, maybe not, 
it's just cooldown reduction for now but soon it'll uh, also reduce the uh, amount of uh, speed reduction that you suffer from mission 4 going at level 11 which I will let's do this I think after I do this gauntlet with Lottie um, I will go ahead and sign off for the night my statement in a, in a quarrel. <laughs> oh no. I am Lottie, Slayer of Worlds. Slayer of Afflicted. Get out of here. You ain't got nothing on a big bear. I may be only adept at melee mastery, but uh, I can still swiftly kick your ass. And with incredible ease, might I add. this ass that I'm whooping. Shoot. Hmm. Isn't this awkward? Uh... stream sir how are ya or ma'am welcome I knew that running into those bombs on the table was gonna hurt me real bad instead of trying to back up I should have used the coat of armor ah well nothing like a take two that's what the third time that I've killed myself or ended my game because I've ran up on that table <laughs> I need to stop doing that. It's gonna be problematic. No, no, die. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know, come to think of it, I haven't evaluated anything in a while. After this gauntlet, I have to see about doing some evaluation because 
I don't think I evaluated the last two camp, the last two gauntlets that I did with Leon, like at all, which uh, is a problem. Deputies! Trip you up. Your barrier can't protect you from a sword. Not when I can get behind you like a master swordsman can. I think that guy was punchable. At least he gave off the impression that he was. Ah oh well, he's dead. Doesn't matter to me all that much. Scatter. So that's firing rate and scatter. It's my two parts for this mission. Get off me! I call cheese. Big ol' uh, poke with my aluminum hammer. Well, I call it a poke, but I think we both know what it actually is. Mm. Oh, I missed both of them. Such a satisfying crunch. Getting the shank off on him. But I am too good for you. No. Ooh, hello. I should have figured that there'd be a second one. There usually is if there's one. Oh well. Got it. Don't do it to me. No. No. Oh, no. Oh, it totally is. No. Oh. That blows. It's gonna do the uploading thing. Oh. Yeah, no, it, it totally is. Alright. Hold on, I gotta... I gotta close the game and I gotta redo that entire mission because... I... <sighs> How doesn't that work? It's Windows X. Do I have to wait for the thing to pop up? Maybe I do. Ugh, alright, hold on. I have to force close the game, because I can't just, like, I can't just close it, because then it 
just does the weird thing where it like runs in the background but doesn't actually like finish closing. Where is here it is. Alright, and please just thank you. There we go. Okay. Hold on. Bit of technical difficulties. I gotta... I gotta boot the game back up, cause... Dang thing decided to, uh, break. I don't know what it is, and I don't know if it, uh, if you give it long enough, if it actually will be, like, uh, uploading complete, or whatever, but... It's, it's kind of like the... Like, if you were to snap your fingers, like, after every game, you snapped your fingers. Except, when it gets stuck like that, you, you're, you're like, just, you're, you're holding it. But you never actually go and do the snap. So, so, so what do you do after that? And, uh, it sucks, because I'll have to do that mission a third time. But... As long as I don't go charge it up onto the table again, uh, I should be fine to do it. It's not available. Please try again later. What do you mean it's not available? I need to finish this gauntlet, otherwise my OCD isn't gonna let me sleep tonight. Ugh, I wish it kept you as your- wish it kept your costumes. So that way I didn't have to switch all the dang time. Let's get in, let's do hard. Take three. Technically it's a bonus stage. I'm gonna list it as like a bonus stage, cause I did complete it, but... I guess the uh, Resident Evil servers must be down, so it didn't actually, it didn't let me upload the progress. Hopefully by the end of this mission though, uh, they'll be back. The servers, or at least my connection to it, because it could be anything at this point. Not dead. Now it is. Some metal dude over there. Can't do that. <laughs> metal guy don't stun so easy. There we go. But he's dead now. Magnum. All right. Ah! 
Why is everybody so grabby this time? Quit it. You get puzzles, you ain't got nothing on me. Oh, he's a lightweight. I'll, I can take care of that. Easy as pie. And there we go. Alright. Hopefully I'll be able to complete the level this time, yeah? Yeah. Or, hopefully I'll be able to get back to the vestibule. Nice. There we go. through their dust cloud. Invisible enemies have a dust cloud? I don't recall that being a thing. Invisible enemies only have the, uh, like you set your sights on them and then you see them. I don't remember them having a dust cloud. Because even then, the glass, when you first see them, like they're noxious. And that's how you see them, is because of the noxious cloud that they leave. Hmm. I'll see about checking into that next time I find or fight an invisible enemy like that. But I don't believe there actually is a dust cloud. It seems like they're making things up. <laughs> Seems like they're making things up. Yeah. What a what a silly gesture that they might be making things up. Ooh, the sploders are gonna be difficult to deal with. Or at least these these two guys that turn into sploders would be. Had I not expert skill. some fun ones. I can just do a, a backflip here. Look how cool I am. Oh, shh. <laughs> Alright, I deserve that. <laughs> I do deserve that. Oh, that's unfortunate, though. Next boom guy that shows up might kill me. This on might, though. I do take pride in being relatively good at this game. Nice man. He's dead now. That man is dead. Do that. See ya. Alright, so we got that dude's exploder, so I'll see about taking care of him. 
because he turns into a splutter. Fire dude. <laughs> you didn't have the noxious cloud yet. That's on very hard. Just that. Okay. I thought I'd be able to get around him, but I guess not. Get out of here. This is not looking good. I'd be the first to say how not good this looks. I must have missed. <laughs> I looked it up because I was curious as to like how to get the point, which was an emote or a gesture that I really enjoyed using as Lottie. And uh while looking that up, I also found out that there's a few gestures that are linked to uh, the campaign. Uh, so, uh, one of them is a need. New Resident Evil game should have a raid mode. Well, I think the new Resident Evils do technically have a raid mode. Or do you mean like the uh, 2 and 3 remake, which they... I wouldn't know. But the raid mode of Revelations and Revelations 2 are nothing more than like glorified versions of the mercenaries modes, uh, first introduced in 3 and carried it, carried out from, and also in 4, 5, and 6. I don't think there is a mercenaries mode in 7. But I do see what you're getting for, getting at. Because I think the RE3 remake has, like, the Project Resistance, which I hear is good, but it's, it's not Mercenaries. Chunkle? How are you not dead, bro? Oh, he is dead. Eh. I don't know how that happened, but, uh, he's dead now. Come on now, trying to attack through a window? You're foolish. Also, sorry, I didn't even think about it. Welcome to the stream. Your name doesn't look quite familiar. Send you down the stairs. Shank you a few times. <laughs> uh oh. Exploder in the stairs hasn't spawned in just yet. Oh, yeah, there's the two guys that are here, right? The other one's a goo face. Got him. Alright, well, so long as I never go on those stairs again, I should be fine. Hello. Do you try to attack me on the stairs? You silly Billy. You should know better than to throw your body up the stairs. Firstly, gravity is against you. Ah! Thank you for the follow, sir. Greatly appreciate it. Get out of here. I, <laughs> I missed my punch. Just send him down the stairs. Oh, 
I missed my chance to shank him too. That's upsetting. Oh! That was not in my favor. I'm really glad that I made it out of that because it's not good to fight, not good to trip those guys and then go downstairs. Because they have the uh, advantage of gravity to them. He's <gasps> gone. In the blink of an eye. I'm stabbing too. <laughs> Alright. I get it. You don't like me, game. You don't have to speak it, you don't have to preach it. That dude turns into a sploder. Oh. No? Oh, that dude does. Alright. I've used both my abilities by this point, so I won't be able to, uh... Clear these guys out easily. That's why there's explosive barrels. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. And with that, another gauntlet is cleared. Only this time, Lottie. So this would make the third mission with Lottie. I gotta go through and I gotta see about, uh, getting my other stuff I have to evaluate which I think I have what three gauntlets worth of things to evaluate <laughs> I'll see about checking the shop see if there's anything good in the shop oh yeah I got a lot doing these earlier levels, I'm not going to be finding very, uh, special pieces. But, I mean, it makes enough sense doing all the earlier levels that you'd get earlier level stuff. But that's why we have a workbench, so that way we may combine parts. Make them into better things. There's a lot of parts that I don't actually use. <laughs> and as I get as I push further into playing as Lottie, there's going to be even less that I'm going to be using. <laughs> so I'm just going to go around cutting everything up. Which is one of the most optimal ways of playing in my opinion. If not optimal, at least it's the most enjoyable. Easy hit, capacity, another easy hit, final shot, couple of guns, close quarters, or close range, yeah. This looks like another FBC, uh, homing ammo, weighted ammo, daze, another gun, focus, more daze, another FBC. I get, I got like, th no, this an easy hit, okay. I was gonna say, like, if I got like, even two FBCs, like, that'd be a little bit too much. Gun, and then two more quick loads. There we are. Let's see if there's anything good here in the store. Days, homing ammo, merciless, and anti recoil. Nice. I probably shouldn't be buying merciless. I don't ever think I'm gonna find myself actually using it. Because it only affects uh, dudes at like 50% uh, 
for less. It's the same thing with a follow-up hit. I don't typically, I don't shoot guys that are on the ground. I usually shank them or stab them or something. So having follow-up hit on a gun isn't uh, quite useful for me, personally. Although, uh, with having both myself and uh, a few of my friends, or at least one of them, playing on this account, my account, uh, it's good to have as many parts as I can. So let's go ahead. Let's level up. Ooh, it's only 10. Nice. Stealth Cloak. Because I want to level up these two equally and evenly, because those two are going to be my most active uh, skills that I'll be using. So the less time that I have to wait for them to come back, the better. Ooh, and I can get a new gun, too. Don't mind if I do. I think I'll equip... Uh... I'll equip the handgun. As much as I want to use my godfather, uh... I need to... I, I can't do... I can't equip the godfather. <laughs> Not right now, anyways. So, I think with this, uh, I'm about to reach the three hour mark, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call the stream here. So, thank you all so much for watching, whether it was live or in post. Um, I was able to get through three gauntlets with Leon, uh, have a huge flash back of time, and <laughs> remembered that I used to play Jumpstart, the, the 3D Jumpstart games when I was younger. And uh, I got through another gauntlet with uh, Lottie. So, and I was also able to inherit the uh, Saving the Moment ability too, the skill. So, uh, if you liked what you saw and you'd like to be able to see more, feel free to tell people that I exist. Uh, the more people that know of my existence, the better of a stream that I can produce, and the better that I, myself, can feel about streaming. Uh, never thought you could play with Lottie, keep it up. Damn straight, I love Lottie. Oh. Also, thanks for showing up. Uh, I went through that part. I don't quite have a plan of gameplay just yet, although Revelations 2 is working for me, and, uh, it seems to be, it's, it's working. So, as long as it works in some capacity, I'm good with keeping to play it. So, before I go, uh, I said it in the beginning of the stream, and I'll say it again, uh, I did have the question of whether or not me going and doing achievement hunting on the main campaign would be any sort of interesting for people to watch because uh, I made mention of it earlier with looking up the gesture emotes and there's a there's a gesture that you can get where you just straight up lie down on the ground like coffin style and I need that so <laughs> I'm going through and I'm getting all this stuff at the campaign so that way I could get that and raid um, I'm curious if doing the campaign would actually be interesting to anyone, so if it is, feel free to let me know. But until then, thank you again so much for watching, and uh, perhaps I'll see you next time.